Hey guys, for everyone who's confused because I use the word straighten instead of stretch, to me it's the same difference, but I guess some people get offended by the term. So, after you wash your hair, you are going to part it into however many sections you want, detangle that section, and then begin to African thread. So African threading is a way to stretch your hair without having to use heat. If you do not know the damage that heat does to your hair, if you do not use it correctly, then you can look that up. I refuse to have heat damage to my hair, so I only straighten my hair once a year. Now keep in mind, this is pre-stretched hair because we just took out our first yarn slash African thread. We have yarn. To stretch it or straighten it even further, I'm going to detangle that section once again, and then I'm going to rewrap it. Now remember what I told y'all, the closer you wrap it, the more elongated your hair will become, but I don't have time for that, so y'all see the spaces in between. But it's also a good thing when you wrap it closer because you don't have to do it a second go round to try and get the maximum stretch out of it. I hope y'all can understand that. I tell y'all all the time, I don't know how to describe things. Hey, I am not a teacher, but I'm gonna help any way possible, so I hope this helped. <laughs> I tried to keep the speed at the original speed so you guys could see how fast I wrap this. It literally takes me about a minute and a half to wrap one of them. The longer your hair, the longer it'll take you to wrap. Just remember that. And yes, we all know that it's not gonna give you the same elongation or straightening as a blow dryer will, but it takes the risk of heat damage to your hair away. And in my opinion, sometimes it works better. So um, <laughs> do as you please. That's your business. Also guys, it gets tricky when you get to your end, so make sure that you cut your yarn long enough because you're gonna flip it once you can't wrap anymore, and then you're going to begin to wrap upwards. Now, if you have a long enough yarn, then you can wrap it up far enough to where it won't unravel. But I didn't, so I just grabbed a rubber band and wrapped that rubber band around the end so that it would stay in place. It's all about technique, guys. And as always, Hi, I'm everywhere over here. We have no niche. We do hella shit, and I appreciate y'all for viewing it. And for my day one, everyone, you already know I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Let's get it. Let's grow.